So whatever you do, do that in style. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today I will be delivering my speech on the topic leadership style. So I just want everyone to unmute and tell which one will you prefer to attend, a management talk or a boring movie. Unmute and tell. Okay, don't put the answer in the chat box. Toastmasters is all about speaking. Anyone? Boring movie. Boring movie. Okay, I also. <laughs> What? <laughs> Management talk. Okay, okay. Thank you. I also prefer the second one, Namira. So, but it turns into a challenge when you are asked to give a management talk. Seriously. So, when I am pretending to be leader and talking about leadership style at the same time, I am asking myself seriously, am I a leader? So, uh, let me tell a story about myself. I still remember a job interview one year back. It was actually after my graduation. My interviewer asked me. Didn't didn't you lead any club in your college? And my quick response was no. I was actually in the team. He was shocked actually, and because whoever he interviewed before me, they actually lead a club. And I realized that the world is full of leaders, and I am the only one in the team. Then, I found a place where the leaders are born. Yes, the same place you are in Toastmasters. But last week, it actually put me into the same situation as one year ago. What is your leadership style? Really, I asked myself. No answer. And suddenly, the Toastmasters pathway said, "Relax, boy. If you can't find, I am here to tell you. Just answer the following question, and based on that, you will be getting your leadership style." So, well, finally, I'm going to get that leadership style. So, uh, I carefully answered one after another. One answer, second answer, uh, like that, six, seven, and the final question came. So it was that moment when you have just one question to answer, and your girlfriend's dad says, "Yes, you are the one." For me, result not found. Please try again. Seriously, well, maybe the leader has not been born yet. Let's talk all the leadership styles. Uh, I want to. I want to mention about the six styles. I found six styles. And the most interesting thing that I was able to relate these to the people I am. So listen carefully. First one is the authority style. So have you about uh, heard about the recent data privacy issues in Facebook, uh, now called as Meta? So they actually need to the uh, change the policy to continue business. So obviously, a developer who works for Facebook government obviously will not take that decision. Okay, so Mark Zuckerberg will decide and will create a vision for Facebook. This is actually an authority style. Second one is the coaching style. When we coach someone, we don't tell them what to do. We help people to uh, find their answers. You can relate the style with your teachers in the corporate world everywhere. And the third one is the democratic style. Democratic means. They share the problem space. So if you tell your people, well, guys, it is very unfortunate that there is a huge fire incident in our building. Tell us what would you suggest. So this is not acceptable from a leader, right? So, however, making by cause sentence is not a not a, a good decision. Being a leader, if I ask my people, this is our situation, suggest us what we can do. Then it's better to give the leadership. Person, leadership to that person who can uh, make decisions independently. And the fourth one, sorry, third one, oh, sorry, it's the fourth one. Affiliate style. This style is all about harmony. Okay, this affiliate style is all about harmony. So, uh, take an example. When you join an organization, you are like a fish in a different pot. It's it's actual truth actually. So you feel unsettled different times. So what what your HR do actually? Your HR supervisors actually uh, it, it, HR actually plays an important role in overcoming uh, in, uh, the emotion emotion in your brain, right? So that style is called affinity style. And the fifth style is the pace setting style. Okay, remember this pace setting style. So as a pace setter, I set my standard as well as I roll up my sleeves and show my people how to achieve that standard. So the leader works with the team and shows them how the job has to be done. This is pace setting style. And the last one, and I love this one. This is the commanding style. 
it is actually my way or no way so because uh, it is appropriate in a fire lag situation when you command your people to leave the building right now without uh, taking selfie with the fire and posting it on facebook so but don't abuse this style okay so after browsing all these styles i ask myself which one do i like then i got a, a realization actually leadership is not a tag which we label on someone's forehead and tell others that he or she is your leader so we need to follow him remember this line leadership is the ability to get extraordinary achievement from ordinary people i repeat that leadership is the ability to get extraordinary achievement from ordinary people first thing if you are a true leader you don't think you are a true leader but people think you are a leader by your ability to respond in different situation take the example of toastmasters x comp itself you just do what is needed as per the circumstances so the style of leadership you have today is according to the reality of the current situation so if today you are surrounded by very gentle and obedient people like the toastmasters in this meeting then you operate one way so when our club meeting start obviously this rtm modi calls everyone uh, she will tell uh, everyone please stand on the camera you have to start the meeting on time and we good boys and good girl uh, we we are good girls and uh, good boys we follow that right sometimes okay so but as yes, we follow but tomorrow when a bunch of rebellions encompass you then your mode of operation will be different of course will be different you can't employ the same method everywhere so if i recapture the whole thing a leader can't be tagged by a style a particular style but of course whatever you do do that in style thank you and over to you toss masters of the day